Everyone's focused right now on that $9.1 billion charge. What is that charge for, and are we expecting to see more? Well, uh, you know, Discovery, as was called back then, made a big acquisition of Warner Brothers just a couple of years ago, $43 billion, brought together all these famous cable networks, CNN, TNT, and that. And what they're recognized today, basically, is that they've declined a lot in value. This is a reflection of what's been happening. All of us are watching things on streaming, and they're not on cable TV. Advertising's down. The fees they get from cable operators are down because customers are cutting the cords. And this is going to be kind of like kind of a watershed moment, I think, in this whole migration from traditional TV to streaming. This was this is just a wipeout of some of those glorious uh, old names. Uh, well, I am, I, I am curious then, actually, uh, Chris, what is uh, kind of the turnaround or the growth story, if you will? Have they articulated one? Uh, certainly, I didn't see it in the release today. And I know we still have to wait for the conference call. But what is that growth story? Well, well, much like Disney's this morning, they had some good news in the streaming business. They added more subscribers than the Wall Street forecast, uh, and now well over a whole 100 million globally. Uh, advertising there was also on the streaming business doubled, uh, although from a much lower base than in traditional TV. So there, that migration is happening, uh, but uh, it's it's still painful for the old businesses. And in terms of the financials, I'm looking at free cash flow down 43% from a year ago, Chris, to $976 million. Analysts were looking for somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.18 billion. I know that Warner Brothers Discovery has a lot of debt, and David Zaslav is very intent on reducing that debt burden. Um, his pay, is, his discretionary pay at least, is pegged to free cash flow. Tell us a little bit about the progress or lack of progress Warner Brothers has made on boosting its free cash flow. Well, that's something they have been uh, talking about a lot on earnings calls, uh, and they have paid down uh, some of the well over $50 billion in debt when they first did this merger. But, you know, there's troubling signs even beyond the traditional TV business. The, the TV studio had a big decline in profits as well. You know, part of that is probably related to the strikes. Part of it that is that uh, Warner Brothers, like a lot of media companies, are trying to cut back on spending. Uh, but, you know, I think that uh, analysts will very likely on the call coming up ask David Zaslav exactly what's happening with the profit business at this company.